Hey, what's going on? I'm Keith here at Sports Vibes TV, and I'm bringing you some more Knicks news. Now, the Knicks, they are continuing to add to their coaching staff by bringing in Darren Ehrman. Some of you guys may be familiar with him. That name was big in the headlines back in 2014. He was the coach that was caught secretly recording Mark Jackson during his tenure with the Golden State Warriors, and he ended up getting fired for it. And I'm a little bit skeptical for that reason. Um, you know, when it comes to a, a person and their morals, I just don't think you should be going behind somebody that reached out and brought you in and, and gave you a position within the organization. And then you're going to go behind and record them and try to, you know, weasel your way closer to the higher ups that I'm not really a fan of. But when it comes to his coaching credentials, I'm a, a little bit more uh, enticed by this uh, addition. Now, he previously worked for the Boston Celtics in their farm system. He coached their G League team, and he ended up coaching the G League player of the year, which was Tremont Waters. He did a pretty good job with him. He also coached Taco Fall, and he coached their uh, the Celtics 2019 first round pick, Romeo Langford. And he his background is in defense. So I'm expecting to see him come in. And, you know, help some of these young guys better up their defense. I'm talking about Obi Toppin. I'm talking about Mitch Robinson, helping him be a little bit more physical in the paint and also trying to defend without fouling. He can also work with some of these guards that are, are you know, defensively deficient. And he can also help, you know, work with Frank Nitty, who's already got the fundamentals or the physical gifts to play good defense. If he can work with him a little bit and work on some of his technique, that is something I would like to see. Uh, before he was with the Boston you know, G League team, he also spent some time with the Pelicans. He was their associate head coach, and he specialized once again in defense. So he's coming in. He's working with Tibbs, a coach he's already had a previous relationship. Um, so I'm thinking he's going to come in and be a good contribution to the coaching staff. My biggest you know, issue is just the fact that he undermined Mark Jackson and, you know, some would say he is a big he could be a big reason why Mark Jackson, you know, ended up being fired. The fact that he was recording conversations of the entire coaching staff for, you know, I think if not mistaken, it was three weeks. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Do you guys like this uh, addition? Do you think, you know, some of the negatives don't necessarily outweigh some of the positives he's going to bring in? Let me know what you think down in the comments, okay? Once again, if you if you got through this video and you like what I'm doing here on the channel, I would just ask you to consider, you know, liking the video, subscribing, and hitting the bell icon, all right? So, once again, I'm Keith, host of Sports Vibes TV, and I'm out.